Hi there. I'm going to tell you about how this quarantine ruined my Disney college program. How are y'all doing? I hope you're doing fantastic. I'm doing just fine. I am Darth Stardust, or my real name is Daniel Porritt, and as you can see, I'm wearing the graduation Mickey ears from Walt Disney World. That is what they gave me upon completion of my Disney college program experience, my internship. And it was definitely awesome, it was fun, but it was definitely cut short due to a certain sickness that the world is dealing with today, but I don't want to focus on the negative. I want to focus on the positive. I wanted to share a summary of my Disney College program experience, especially since I wasn't able to make any vlogs while I was down there. I was offered a role of character performer as a Disney College program intern. During this program, you're able to live on Disney property, um, one of which was Vista Way, which was my apartment complex. And so I was living at Vista Way and I got to work at Disney World. The process, you get there and you go through casting. Disney has a different vocabulary vernacular for certain things. Casting is their hiring, official hiring process. And cast members are Disney employees and they're definitely part of the Disney family. I need some water. From casting, you're able to go to Disney traditions where you learn about the traditions that Disney has and the key values that they hold dear and what they want their cast members to portray in the parks. From then, you go on to specific orientations and trainings. As entertainment, it definitely was a little bit different than other Disney college programs. I was able to go through and learn about performing, learn about interacting with the guests, what I can say, what I can't say, but after all that process, I was able to work about two months as a Disney College program participant. And so with entertainment, you obviously got a little bit different. Like there's, you know, obviously drama with performing and stuff like that. I felt like it was a little bit different because I felt that college program CPs were looked down on a little bit. There's a certain amount of hours that we were required to fill. And so from the full-time, part-time um, seasonals perspective, they kind of looked down on college program participants as taking their hours and stuff like that. I didn't get too much of that for one reason or the other. Most of the time I just focused on my work and trying to improve and it was definitely fun to learn from those people who have been there for years. I got to talk to people who've been there for years and knew the expertise and knew this and that and everything. They were experts essentially. So I loved learning from them and I loved learning from the guests that I was able to interact with. I came to appreciate the amount of human diversity that we have as brothers and sisters of the human race. There's so many different people that come to Disney World and they all have the same goal of being entertained, having fun and living a magical moment. And so it was awesome to be able to interact with them and help them make that magical moment. So I have those fond memories. Um, while I was there for two months, I was able to go to the parks, Magic Kingdom a little bit, Epcot a little bit. Animal Kingdom, I only went like once or twice. <laughs> Hollywood Studios was blocked out to cast members when I was there, which was kind of a bummer, but we were able to go during specific and special occasions like Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I was able to have a cast preview of that ride and it was awesome. Then afterwards I got to experience some of the other rides and stay in the park for a little bit. At the beginning of my program, me and my mom went to Hollywood Studios because we knew it was going to be blocked out. So we thought we would take advantage of that and go to Hollywood Studios while we can. The final time I was able to go to Hollywood Studios was actually kind of a sad moment because it was right around the time that I got the email that our college programs would be suspended. And it was definitely very sad. Uh, we had all of those memories of making magic and learning a whole bunch of different things. 
and people were very sad to hear it was gonna be cut short abruptly. So they opened up Hollywood Studios for cast members. It was kind of a sad experience. It was fun going in and seeing and being able to ride those rides, but it was also sad knowing the context of it. People were very upset. Um, I personally had gotten everything that I wanted to get out of the program. I wanted to get my foot in the door with Disney, eventually want to work for Disney or Pixar as an animator, as an animator. That was kind of getting my foot in the door as well as putting something on my resume. So I, I was able to work um, and make a little bit of money while doing that. And so I wasn't too crushed, but at the same time, I always had hope that I would be able to come back. So they sent everybody home. And it's been kind of rough for everybody. Definitely has been. But one thing that I kind of want to be a promoter of is the hope. I had to kind of find a way to adapt. Um, but I've seen through this whole sickness that it's brought us closer together. Like everyone's bringing, coming together to help everybody and lift everybody up. One thing specifically that I saw this April 10th was a worldwide fast that many churches and religious faiths participated in, mine especially. And I saw people, atheists, agnostics, Muslims, Catholics, everybody together, Christians, everybody. And they were fasting, which is going without food and praying a whole lot for 24 hours. You know, even if you're not religious, it's cool to see that everyone was coming together. Everyone was doing something specifically to try and help or at least show their support. It's definitely been awesome. You see all these essential workers risking their lives in order to help people. And it's definitely been awesome. And I know it's been hard for all of us. A lot of people in quarantine don't know what to do with their time. And um, it's, it's different because we wanna be social. And sometimes people feel depressed, not being able to see the sun, not being able to go out too much. I just wanna be able to sit here and say, yeah, it sucks. I kind of went through that too. But I wanna say that it gets better. And as we band together, and I want to promote this message of hope, as we band together and hope for the best, things will get better, I promise. Anyone out there is feeling like they need to talk to someone, my comments down there are open. Just talk to me, I'll, I'll talk to anyone who needs to talk. Also my Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter are all up there. Talk with your family, talk with whoever. Just know that you have support and the world is trying to support its inhabitants. So, kind of a somber topic, but I definitely wanted to say that things are bright. I hope you guys have enjoyed hearing some of these things. Hang in there, you can do it. And may the force be with you. Have a great day.